Cancer, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your mid-January to mid-February 2021 tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. And if this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading from me, you can find the link in the description box below this video. Alternatively, you can go to my channel, Karina Star Tarot. All the links that you need to know about are on there. And one other thing, if you are interested in offering a donation towards my channel's growth, then you'll find the donation link also in the description box below this video. And also on my channel. Please bear in mind that there's no gender in tarot. I'll be reading the energy from the cards and the energies can represent both male and female energies. And cross watchers are welcome to join this reading. So without further ado, Cancer, let's go straight into your reading. And as you can see, I've already shuffled out some cards for you. And from the wisdom of the oracle, you've got not for you an observer. So we're going to start off with not for you. So I feel that this is a clear knowing that something is being denied to you. Um, as the saying go, rejection is God's protection. So it could be about um, a relationship you feel that is not working out and that maybe the person that you're in a relationship you don't feel that this is the right person for you and maybe you're kind of accepting that truth and that reality i feel um i feel some of you may be in separation with your partner at the moment and i feel that also beside it you've got observers so i feel that with observer I feel that even though you're separated from this person, I feel that a lot of you may be being observed from afar by this person. They might not be accepting that this is over. Because I, I feel that for some of you, this person held back feelings, perhaps wasn't being themselves. And I feel that they are definitely observing you um it is it's because they don't accept that this perhaps is a relationship that's that's reached the end of its chapter basically um they may be very confused and very mixed up i feel there may be a lot of unresolved issues that they have that has that has stopped them from being able to express how they truly feel. Um, but I, I feel that you, a lot of you, have kind of really made up your mind that you want this relationship to come to an end. I think that that is the case for many of you. And then we have from the island time wellness we have the dragonfly and this is about being light-hearted finding things out things coming to light adapting change and healing so yeah there's definitely lots of changes on the horizon for you especially in regards to relationships um there could be things that are coming to light. Maybe those things have already come to light for you. And maybe that was partly the reason for the separation. You've got the card separation here as well. So, yeah, I think if there, if there are, if there have been secrets within your relationship, I, and I feel that they will be coming out very soon for those of you who, who don't know some of you might have a kind of idea about what's been hidden from you some of you could be healing um but i feel for some of you you've 
you don't need a long time to heal i think for some of you i feel that you've already made up your mind that this is not a relationship that you feel is right for you i think some of you may feel that the person that you're separated from has been wearing a mask uh not showing their true feelings hiding how they really feel from you pretending they may have um in the past uh, gaslighted you you know um really played around with your feelings um you know really manipulated you in a lot of ways within this relationship and for for a lot of you this might have that sort of behavior might have been the reason why you decided to separate from this person and a lot of you maybe come to the conclusion that this person's not for you um i feel that this person is definitely missing you uh it's definitely thinking about you yearning for you uh, like i said they're observing you from afar they could be checking your social media uh, i feel some of you are being um perhaps pestered by this person because like i said they may be having a hard time accepting that this relationship has come to an end so you may be getting bombarded by texts and phone calls all hours you know day time night time i feel some of you might have decided it's best you've said what you've said to them and you've decided maybe to go silent i feel for a lot of you on them and then you've got you deserve love you are lovable yeah because yeah you, you do deserve love um but this is not for you this is not the type of love you, you you're thinking of here this is not the type of love that you want to invest in you see it as a very toxic kind of relationship i feel a lot of you um and you don't want to get in any further than you already have because you feel that this person has already revealed their true colors and the fact that they have problems with showing their true feelings um and there's been signs that they're very unstable with all the gaslighting and the manipulation and bombarding you with messages or, or you know all times of the day and night you know you, it's not it kind of puts you right off this person to be honest with you and um, for some of you you may be you may have feelings for this person but at the same time you realize this person's not for your highest good and yeah you you've been guided to release your ex here time has come to clear your energy yeah you you want to release this person out of your energy or out of your life you feel it's time um to move on because you know you deserve something a lot better than this so let's get into some tarot for you and find out what's going on for you cancer The first card you have out is the Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with. Uh, yeah, definitely a lot of conflict, a lot of arguments, a lot of fighting. I feel this person has brought an awful lot of drama into your life. Um, for some of you, you may feel that they're, they're, there's a lot of competition, that maybe um, they had their eyes on other people. Uh, while in a relationship with you um, but I, I definitely feel this person has brought a lot of drama into your life uh, created a lot of upheavals within your life and I do feel that they are continuing to do that for some of you because they're not accepting it's over and for some of you you might be you know simply just going out to the shop and uh, and and, and they're bothering you in the street, I feel, for some of you. And at the back of the deck, we've got the Three of Swords. So it's, for some of you, it's definitely a situation where they perhaps betrayed you, um, maybe put you in a third party situation, being unfaithful, I think, for some of you, uh, definitely. Um, some of you, you would definitely, and, and Three of Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Libra, some of you definitely 
would you rather be on your own uh, than be in a relationship with this person? You do see yourself as being quite, um, quite secure, quite happy being on your own, um, quite abundant. Um, I think that you feel you don't need this person in your life. You don't need the drama and you feel very at ease and at peace when this person's not in your life, I feel. Um, and I think you, a nine of pentacles is earth energy. So Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, you could be dealing with here as well. So let's find out a bit more. I'm going to clarify all of these cards also. Yeah, nine, nine of cups. I feel that you, for them, even though... They have a funny way of showing it. Um, you, they, you are definitely their wish fulfillment. Um, despite the way they've behaved, um, they really do. I can't express it. There's a certain. They have a certain a direct pull towards you that's quite strong within them, even though they haven't expressed it. They, you're definitely their wish fulfillment um and and they don't want they don't want to be without you basically they 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 do have feelings for you but they're very stubborn i feel um maybe wounded from the past um definitely have trouble expressing their love for you but they do ha have a lot of love very deep within them but don't seem to want to or, or not, not be able to express it in the correct manner or you know I feel with this person has problems with expressing love and yeah you with the night with the six of swords Cap, um, Aquarius Gemini Libra I feel that you feel it's time to move away from this from all the drama um move away to calmer waters um you know, stabilise your life, get that stability back into your life, I feel, for a lot of you. This person, I feel, wants to move towards you, definitely. You want to move away from them. They want to move towards you. And like I said, they are not going to give up that easily I don't think um, yeah, for me I think some of you could be dealing with someone who's quite obsessed with you um, as well then we have the ace of wands here so I feel that you do have this person trying to return to your life they have a lot of passion for you and they're coming in with an apology and wanting to have another chance with you i feel if you haven't had them return yet they will be definitely returning um and yeah it could be within a matter of weeks for some of you definitely i i'd say within within the next six weeks this person's definitely going to return they have a lot of passion for you there is love there but they, are, I think overall, I think they're very driven by their passion, I feel. They are very sexually attracted to you, put it that way. They want you to take a leap of faith with them. You've got the fall, which is Aquarius Aries energy for me. Um, you know, they want you to take that leap of faith with them, take a risk on them, give them that chance. Um, but you may be deciding to go off on your own like i said a lot of you you know don't feel like this is the relationship for you you know you you know you deserve love but not this kind of love you are you know you know your worth your self-worth and you know that it's not having a big ego but you know that you deserve better than this you know than what this person has given you and then we have the King of Swords. Yeah, I think a lot of you have no problems cutting this person out of your life. If you haven't, you will be. And I don't think you'll be afraid to do it. You might do it. You might. 
I don't think a lot of you want to be this harsh, but a lot of you may have to resort to being quite brutal in cutting this person out of your life. You might go as far as blocking them from all social media. Um, you can't stop them from confronting you in the street, but I feel that you are definitely going to go out of your way to block this person and get this, cut this person out of your life. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yeah, very much standing in your power. Uh, resolute, I feel. You know, you know exactly what you want to do in this situation. And I feel you're going to do it. I'll get you one more card out and then I'll start clarifying these cards for you. See what's next for you. Yeah, this person, you know, the only time you've ever seen them truly express sorrow and emotion is, is when they're trying to come back into your life. Now you're seeing the mask is slipping. Now you're seeing the emotions that have been hidden under the, surf, under the surface, but it might be too little, too late. You know, you've got the hermit here, so you might be distancing yourself. Like I said, trying to put some distance between you and this person, isolating yourself, um, feeling the need to do so, um, trying to get that balance back in your life. You've, you may have already gone into isolation, you know, feeling that you need to get clarity in this situation. But you, those of you, I think a lot of you, you will get definitely get clarity in this situation and uh, be very clear on what you want to do here, I feel. Uh, it might be that you, like I said, you're cutting off all communication, I feel, and you might be going quiet on this person. And the Hermit is Virgo energy, so you could be dealing with Virgo as well. So let's start clarifying. So at the back of the deck, we've got the Magician. So, yeah, you are capable of manifesting so much better in your life and i feel that's what you're going to be doing you're manifesting a better outcome here straight out and we've got the ace of pentacles <laughs> i don't know why that one. i think i'm going to put that back in the deck because even it just fell out it might have just slipped out of my hands so i'm going to reshuffle here to clarify the five of wands but the ace of pentacles if it is relevant it's just indicating that this person wants to wants to another chance with you you know they want to come into your life and have a new start with you for some of you ace of pentacles can represent unexpected money coming in or maybe getting a job definitely a, a, a change in your finances i would say chance of a new start in your career maybe your going to be able to you know purchase the car some of you I feel so clarif clarif clarifying the five of wands we are the five of swords so yeah five is fives are strong strongly about conflict loss and change and and to rebuild your life I feel that a lot of you you know um it's, it's been uh, quite a lot, of, uh, very draining for you, I feel, for a lot of you. All the conflicts, the battles, the arguments, you know, always feeling on tender hooks around this person, this person not really expressing themselves emotionally, but being able to manipulate you and gaslight you. And then, obviously, the drama that they're bringing now to you, you know, it, you've had enough, you know, it's... I think they've been perhaps perhaps been in your head over this you know it's been doing your head in so to speak you know you just want that peace of mind now you want to be set yourself free from this person i feel yeah so let's clarify the three of swords for you Clarify the Three of Swords for Cancer, please. Clarify the Three of Swords for Cancer.
yeah it's been clarified by the death card which is a major arcana card um yeah so i feel that this heartbreak that they've caused some of you not all of you some of you have been put in a third party situation for you is definitely signifying the end of this relationship you want to put an end close this cycle out with this person and move on with your life i feel for a lot of you here and the the death card that's scorpio energy so you could be dealing with scorpio here and then yeah with the nine of pentacles that's clarified by the eight of cups so definitely rather be on your own you're deciding to walk away from this from all this drama from this person um for some of you you may have those emotional ties still you may not be walking away completely free of emotion um but you're walking off towards the sunshine towards a better brighter future for yourself i feel here you know um and in doing so i feel uh, suddenly that cloud is lifted and your mind is you start to feel really free in your head um you know like just renewed you know almost like it's a, a really big sense of relief to be free of this person I'm not saying it will apply to all of you but definitely some of you i can see feeling that way that sense of all that stress you know all that drama lifted from your mind your brain you know and suddenly you look towards the horizon you know and a brighter future it's it's like you suddenly feel completely freed and and more hopeful so clarifying the nine of cups We have the King of Cups. So this person actually does have a lot of love for you. Um, the King of Cups does suggest someone that is quite together emotionally. Um, and this card, this card actually did come out in an odd way. It didn't come out completely upright. Um so i i feel like i need to get another card out to clarify this because i i feel that yeah maybe this person would like you know it, it could be that this person would like to be the type of person that you want them to be and they know they know their shortcomings they know what they need to do they know that they need to change that they need to grow but maybe they don't have the patience you know or the hmm, what's the word to use um well you see the thing is next is seven of cups for some of them that there's they're they're always considering other options as well for some of them they as much as they have a lot of love for you they also have other options so for some of them it might be that they're not ready for a, mon a, mon a monogamous relationship you know to be in a relationship with just one person you know it's almost like they're spot for choice for some of them that's you know like they have options and um maybe it's they're a bit selfish maybe a bit of growing up to do here i feel for some of them um let's let's clarify the six of swords and that's clarified by the ace of swords aquarius gemini libra um and cups is pisces cancer scorpio yeah so uh, I definitely feel like moving away. It, it, you, you've never been sure, more sure about this. That this person is not for you. You're very clear in your mind. You've got that clarity. And walking away is, you know, bringing that peace as well as that clarity. Your, you, your mind's made up basically. Um, yeah, you fought long and hard about this, 
and and you've got that clarity and you know what you want to do in this situation so let's clarify the ace of wands for you yeah the ace of swords is just all about okay i think you've been thinking about it a lot and and you've reached a firm decision a decision which it's very unlikely that you will go back on that decision and change your mind. I think your mind's made up for good there, for a lot of you, I would say. So, let's clarify the Ace of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, they, they want a new start with you. Um, but... I feel that you you feel very betrayed and stabbed in the back by this person. Um, you don't trust them, and you you don't feel secure being around this person. You, like I said, your mind's made up, um, and you can't, they can't undo what they've done to you. Your mind's made up here. You're very clear about wanting an end to all of this. Um, you don't want this new start with this person. This is what this tells me. Uh, they want a new start with you, but you're not interested, basically, because you feel very betrayed and stabbed in the back by this person with the Ten of Swords, which is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So let's clarify the Fool. I mean, obviously, there are a, a percentage of you that I will give this person another chance but you know most of the cards here point to the fact that a lot of you will not even entertain it this person is just not for you a lot of you have made your a uh, completely sure about that um you've got the queen of cups clarifying the fool here so yeah you are definitely you know your mind's made up you um you asked, you're a very spiritual sort of person, you did, you, you listened to your intuition, I think you, um, you're very in tune with your emotions, a lot of you, you're, you're a person that knows how to express emotions, and, you know, when you find the right person, your love is unconditional, but you stand in your power, you, you set those boundaries, and uh, when someone's not giving you 100%, I feel you step in your power here. You're stepping in your power, and and you, you're saying no more. Basically, the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, definitely your energy. You you are not giving this person another chance. You're gonna you're gonna you're going to um, be on your own for some of you, and oh, and wait until the right person comes along because you're standing in your power you know what you deserve you know your worth here in clarifying the king of swords yeah we yeah we have the queen of pentacles it got clarified by two cards here and the eight of pentacles so earth and uh capricorn taurus virgo yeah you like i said again you're standing in your power. It's clarifying the King of Swords here. You know that um, you can offer someone an awful lot. You know, you, you are very secure in yourself as a person. You're emotionally mature. Um, you've been through all of those disastrous relationships. You've learned those lessons. You've grown as a person. You know your power. You know your worth. You know that you there's a lot of potential within you. You know that there's, you know, that you have a future with, with someone or without someone. And there's, you have choices in life. You know, you've worked hard for what you've got. And you are not short of options and choices in life, regardless, whether it's in love, in your career. You, you have everything going for you here. And you're standing, like I said, you know your worth, you're standing in your power. So, let's clarify the hermit. Yeah. So strongly standing in your power here, Cancer. 
with the king of swords queen of cups queen of pentacles you've got it going on you've got the emotional maturity you've got the um you've got the financial security you've got choices in your career in your life you know you've really got it going on you, you don't really need someone like this in your life you need someone that's going to match your vibration and their low vibration the way they've treated you um yeah so yeah clarifying the hermit You've got the knight of swords yeah the knight of swords i might further clarify that but like i said you, you're going silent on them uh you've got that enlightenment that you needed uh you want to cut them out of your life but like i said they're not um going to let you go that easy they might have done a runner on you like i said they might have put you in a third party situation they might have breadcrumbed you made you an option and you know you've dropped them for good you know you you've got rid of them out of your life and as soon as you've done that along they come running back into your life not wanting to lose you because they realize what they had with you was really special but i don't think you see them in the same way um they they're definitely observing you definitely observing you and there i feel that you're dealing with someone they have that they're not emotionally mature they're not on the same level as emotional level as you but i feel they're very immature anyway they've got a lot of lessons to learn in life still um yeah a further clarification is the nine of pentacles which is exactly what i where i thought you were going here you know you are fine being on your own this is what the nine of pentacles tells me an independent person who is who who is at peace on their own who who is happy if whether they're alone or with someone you know they don't need someone to prop them up you know you are someone that's financially stable i'm not saying all of you are but most of you are quite settled in life quite ha in a happy place i would say most of you and quite happy being on your own um and you know that you know you're worth and so you're very happy to be on your own rather than have this person in your life so i'm going to enjoy reading there cancer so if that resonated for you please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video and subscribe to my channel definitely subscribe to my channel cancer i would love to have more cancers subscribing to my channel so the more the merrier and it would be very helpful to me to get my video out there more i could do with more cancerian subscribers i feel like i really resonate with you so yeah please do consider subscribing to my channel and i will see you all very soon bye for now